Well, hi everyone. I wanted to come out and see the situation for myself. It's been a tremendous amount of scour since the early videos came out starting Monday on the situation with its rapid dam. You can see how much head cutting has occurred around the left abutment. And concerns about the silt going downstream. It looks like there's enough eddy currents that I would suspect a lot of that sediment now is being eroded out and carried downstream. And the concern with the sediment is that it's likely contaminated with pesticides, heavy metals, pretty common type of contaminants in river sediments in largely agricultural areas. In one respect, if that's the case, it should make potential decommissioning of this dam a bit easier. There'll be less material to deal with. Of course, I imagine they would have preferred to have done a proper disposal of that material rather than have it all go downstream. But uh, that's the situation we have here right now. But uh, we can see that there is a bedrock layer there. And in fact, the left above it, which we can't see too well, appears to have been founded on a more resistant layer of rock. But if it's, uh, it's sandstone, which I su suspect it is, I'll do some additional investigation on that. But sandstone's typically highly erodible, depends on the degree of cementation. But uh, you can see there's tremendous head cutting below the soil deposits and well into the bedrock layer. Now the house that was on the left bank unfortunately tumbled into the Blue Earth River last evening around 9.30 p.m. on June 25th. And if additional erosion occurs, it looks like it could threaten their building that they sold pies out of. Is the bridge closed because they're worried about scour on the piers or debris hitting the piers? Now you can see the county highway bridge just upstream of the dam here, Rapid Dam. It's been closed out of abundance of caution. County and state engineers aren't certain of the condition of those bridge piers. There's undoubtedly been some scour. There's also been potential for large debris impacts from, say, trees, and other uh, fallen vegetation moving downstream and impacting the upstream side of those piers. So for the time being, this bridge will be closed. So to get here, there was quite a bit of detouring to get around here, but uh, again, I'm just shocked at how much erosion has occurred and additional erosion in less than 24 hours. Beautiful day though. Yeah. Okay, uh, what, what's your name, sir? I'm Connor Blockett. Hi, Connor. Thanks for talking with me today. Can you tell me what you've seen here? You said you were here the first night. Yep. What, um, I was in my house and I looked at Facebook and I saw on the news that the dam was being overtopped and there was a, might be a fire at the substation. So I immediately got in my car and I drove out to the dam here and I actually stood up on top of the hill at a cemetery up there and I got my camera out and I could see water overtopping the dam and the trench starting to be dug by the water. So I actually drove my car out over the bridge when he still could and I could actually see part of the substation falling down into the uh, water. We're starting to dig it out. And ever since this, it's starting to get bigger and bigger. It's just it's crazy. So this was early Tuesday morning then? Uh, I believe Late so. Late Monday night, early Tuesday Yeah, morning? I believe so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And were you here yesterday as well? Not yesterday, but I was here the in the morning. So the early, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Well, it's just shocking the amount of erosion that's occurred. Yeah, I can't believe it either because it was pretty stable the day before, but now it's just it's, it's dropped like 20 30 feet. It's just it's I can't imagine how much it's gonna get when it keeps getting lower and lower. I just hope that the abundance don't get scoured out by the water and it collapses. I just, yeah, yeah, go stand. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. Yeah, now to get you oriented. 
There's the dot in South Central Minnesota representing the dam location. Now, when I did my initial video on this dam failure, the flow rate was 34,300 cubic feet per second. Now it's 40,200 cubic feet per second. So that's significantly higher discharge. And you can see the large channel that's being created now. And I would think that they're going to have to get this dam out of there. Otherwise, the river is going to continue to channelize and extend the bank farther and farther to the west. I could see a situation where it could potentially erode farther enough back to undermine the bridge abutment. So I'll continue to update you on this dam story as things progress. I'd like to send a shout out to the channel members. I really appreciate your ongoing support. I also want to thank those of you who have provided super thanks. That's another great way to support the channel. Also, I'd like to thank Connor Blockett again for giving an on-site interview and sharing his video footage from the onset of the overtopping event. I really appreciate it. Thanks very much, everyone.